Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Today is Wednesday, April 17th. I'll be going over my recap for today. Um, so today, um, it was a test of patience and uh, it was a really slow market. Um, there wasn't many opportunities. Uh, there was a IPWR trade here that I missed. Um, so you can see it had a, a pretty nice uh, flag break here and then it's having prior um, prior resistance become support um, and then it break out of this flag line uh, and then it would have been a really good trade because you can uh, risk 78 cents here with your buy off 82 here so that's a 4 cent risk um, and then your reward is potentially uh, almost like a 20 cent reward so you're almost getting a 5 to 1 ratio um, so um, Trades like these are pretty good um, in the long run because um, even if you fail, this trade fell uh, two times, you can make it back from the five times uh, reward. Uh, but I missed this because I was uh, busy uh, watching QCOM. So QCOM, uh, I did two trades on this. Uh, they're both on the short side. Um, so I had a level at the around 82 area. Um, that's because uh, if you look at the the daily chart uh, back in 2014, um, it had a high of uh, 82. So that was the, pretty much the all time high around 82 mark. Um, and then it, it kind of tapped 82 um, and then started to uh, had a resistance there. So uh, during during the pre-market, I had these levels marked here. Um, so these levels, um, and then this level. So what I saw was it popped up, kind of fell, um, and then on the five minute, um, I was watching it for a reversal. I think it was on the 15 minute. So the 15 minute was overextended, and um, I saw this, uh, can see is the cup and handle um, and then a small cup and handle here so I went ahead and short off this uh, I think it was a 70 79 break um, and then I went ahead and cover uh, off these uh, the support here uh, and then it bounced right off so I made like around $40 uh, short uh, around this area it bounced back uh, and then now you can see it's creating a bigger uh, cup and handle and this was uh, the cup and handle to break the 15 minute chart you can see that it, it breaks the 15 minute trend here uh, so I took I took a short there uh, from uh, you can see this this small cup and handle uh, with my wrist off of the 79 in I think 7950s um, and then it broke 79 and then it went all the way to the lows of uh, 77 so I took profit along the way and uh, I was surprised that it didn't hold this support here uh, and it actually uh, went all the way down to this uh, prior resistance here and it became support, it supported off there and kind of bounced off towards uh, VWAP and higher. So I made a total of $100 from this trade. Um, and. And, and then I was just looking around and th there wasn't any real opportunities. So um, during this time of the market, uh, it's best to just uh, avoid trading. Uh, it's better to just stay uh, sitting on your money than taking a loss from a forced trade and, or to over trade uh, unreliable setups. Um, yeah, so um, Friday, Friday is a, a holiday for the market, so it's closed. So coming uh, into Thursday, I feel it might be another slow day since uh, um, the market's closing on Friday. Uh, and I feel like uh, next week should, uh, the volume should be uh, picked back up. Um, so that's all I have for today. Um, just one trade, um, $100 uh, winner. And yep, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you like my content, uh, don't forget to give me the likes, uh, subscribe, and leave a comment if you would like to uh, um, hear anything or suggest any uh, feedback. 
Okay, goodbye.